born and raised in Amsterdam. Two amazing parents, Peter and Martina. My home life was absolutely awesome. I love both my parents so much. You know, they're the most important people in the world to me. He, he was a confident but really passionate about things. He was 12 and there was a tournament for schools. So his gym teacher said, sorry, you're not in the team. And then a neighbor of me, uh, who was on a basketball club, said, ah, let's Matt join us. And he stepped on the court and he loved it. And ever since he loved basketball. So it was great to see him running like a Bambi over, over the field. He really loved basketball. When I was younger, especially like between like 12 and 16, 17 is something I, I really struggled with. I was scared of a lot of things in ways that you really shouldn't be. By that time I was 15, I was still sleeping with the lights on. And if the lights in my room weren't on, there was a light on in the hallway with the door open. It was just fear of a lot of things, a fear of everything almost. I was scared of the world, basically. He was a really smart kid. So at first we didn't notice it, that he was afraid of the dark. So he was very smart, talking around it, very cautious, prudent, reluctant to do, uh, do, to, to do some things. And was holding him back. My parents were extremely supportive of me. You know, they never just dismissed me. Uh, as like, oh, this is stupid, you just need to get over it. They were there for me, and they were like, hey, we're gonna help you through this, we're gonna find ways to help this. It was a school trip, so I was with, with school that had a basketball team. We had the opportunity to go and go to Spain for like, I think it was five days, and just kind of practice with their, with the team there, which was Joven Duta Barcelona. I was just really excited for it, because I thought it was gonna be just a fun experience, go to Spain for a week, you know, with, with people from school. After two days, he called, Mom, Dad, you want me to stay here? and to come and play here at Joventuta Badalona. We said, okay. And because we knew Matt, we thought, oh, he will be a little bit reluctant. Maybe he goes in one year or in two years, but he, he really wanted to go. When I made the decision to go to Spain, I was still, you know, I'd gotten over some of those fears, but I was still a very shy kid. At that moment, uh, his ambition won over his fear. So this is Maggie, my girlfriend. Uh, we've been together for almost three years at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, we met when we were both at Purdue together. Arms dunks it all! Mark, offensive board! Lindsey had it blocked by Harms! Great I think that Matt is really unique in that he's really not afraid to move anywhere. He's willing to take those risks and he's not afraid of going somewhere else and trying new places. He's just a guy that loves to play basketball. Here he is, we see him defending the pick and roll, doesn't give up on the play, and he loves it. <laughs> he is hyped, I love it. Recruiting Matt Harms was the odyssey of odysseys. He was recruited by every program in the country. He came down to the final three of University of Kentucky, Texas Tech, both recent final four teams, and BYU. He didn't have any familiarity with BYU basketball other than watching the great work that the players did last year. Seemed like this far-fetched dream that was just kind of wasting our time in terms of reaching out to him. And after the first week of him getting really excited and him learning more about us and us learning more about him, it kind of turned into this, we got a shot. It kind of like this dream became sort of this reality of like, we got a shot to land, you know, one of the best transfers in college basketball, who by the way, happens to stand seven foot three. We were trying to think of anything and everything that we could possibly do to reach him. And just hanging on by a thread, I brought my two girls here to the Mara Center and we had the crew put up happy birthday written in Dutch. And so we FaceTime Matt, just a quick hitter and we're like, Matt, you know, this is a day 24, 48 hours away from him making a decision. And we're like, Matt, we're having a debate right now about which of us can speak Dutch the best. I'm gonna look at it back as like a cherished memory, but in the end, it just came down to everything just fit. Everything worked. Like when I came down to it, it was like pros and cons and I had everything listed out and I had an Excel spreadsheet with all the options and all the goods and bads and all the location, whatever. And then I just was like, hey, how do I feel about it? Like, how do I really, truly feel about these places that I wanted to go? And I just said, I can't miss out on BYU. And at the end, he chooses with his heart. He chose with his heart for, for Coach Pope. Uh, and, and the coaching staff for BYU. BYU basketball does sign Matt Harms, seven feet, three inches out of the Netherlands. Here is a tenured guy from Purdue that has gone on deep NCAA tournament runs, including the Elite Eight just two years ago. When they talk about BYU's a couple years down the road, five years down the road, when 
it's risen back to prominence in the way it should be. I want people to say like, okay, we had that first huge class of seniors that first year, and then that second year, we had a core of transfers. We had our three seniors. We had Alex Barcelo, Brandon Averett, and Matt Harms came through here, and they showed that, we were, that BYU was there to stay. That's what my hope is for this year. Hey, Matt, here a boodschap van je van je vader, jongen. Je bent al uh, bijna zes jaar op pad om een geweldige profbasketballer uh, te worden. En ik ben zo ontzettend trots op alles wat je daar al hebt gedaan. Dit kan alleen nog maar een uh, succes worden. Dag lieve Matt, ik ben trots op je en ik hou van je. Dag jongen. <laughs>